Furman Leon Smith was born in Six Mile, South Carolina on May 11, 1925. Furman grew up with his brothers and five sisters on his family's cotton farm. At age 12, Smith dropped out of school to work full time on the family farm, a move that required him to grow up quickly and take on greater responsibility. I think he did it because he had to. Uh, I think he did what had to be done for the family. The family came first, school came second. He liked school very much, but uh, when duty called, uh, he was there. Smith was drafted at the age of 18 in July 1943, and though he had spent all his life isolated in his rural surroundings, he was destined to become an extraordinary soldier who would also become South Carolina's first Congressional Medal of Honor recipient in World War II. When I was a kid learning about Furman's story, and I just had this image of what he would be like, uh, he has to be just totally fearless, and, and what kind of demeanor he must have had. It just, I was kind of in awe of that growing up. But then, one of the favorite stories that people would pass around when he was actually in Fort McClellan, this guy eventually becomes a Medal of Honor winner who kills 10 people to save two guys. Um, they said that he could not stop crying when he was finally in basic training. And his emotions were so extreme that his, cry his crying would never stop that a passing captain uh, asked him, soldier, what's wrong with you? And he says, sir, I'm homesick. And he said, son, don't you know how to act when you're away from home? He said, sir, being, homesick, being away from home is why I'm homesick. By the time of his deployment to Italy in January 1944, Smith had transformed from a homesick farm boy to a soldier focused and ready for war. It was on May 31, 1944, while serving as a private in the 135th Infantry Regiment, that Smith left his legacy. On that day, while making their way toward Rome, Smith's group was hit with an intense German attack near Lanuvio, Italy. Orders to withdraw were soon issued, but Smith, seeing two comrades injured on the battlefield, found himself unable to comply with the order. Instead, he elected to make a stand against the attack and attempted to hold off 80 Germans to save the lives of his fellow soldiers. Against overwhelming odds, he stood his ground until he was shot down and killed, rifle in hand. Two days after his death, the Americans completed their mission to liberate Rome. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life, Above and beyond the call of duty, Smith was awarded the Medal of Honor on January 17, 1945, in front of his family's farmhouse.